Good morning, friends. I went to bed with wet hair last night. It was probably a huge mistake. And I'm interested to see the big reveal. <sighs> it's okay, it's just so pretty wet. Cool. So I haven't done just kind of like a normal day vlog in a long time. So I thought today is the day. And I just woke up and I came downstairs and looked outside and something amazing is happening. Are you ready? It's snowing. I don't even know if you can see it right now, but I, there's, there was a snowflake. It's so pretty outside right now. I hope it doesn't get worse though, because driving in the snow is like my least favorite thing in the world. Why yes, I am eating carrot cake for breakfast. Thanks for asking. Chad's friend made him carrot cake the other day and he brought the whole thing over. And Chad hasn't even touched it yet. So um, I waited as long as I could, but I'm gonna eat it. I feel like I have a lot to accomplish today. I do work tonight. I have two video ideas I want to film and get taken care of before they leave my brain and I forget and I don't do them. And then I'm like scrambling to make a video. I also have to go to the BMV because I forgot to get a new sticker on my birthday for the white car. And I'm not driving that car right now. Nobody's driving that car right now. So it's okay. I need to drop off my subscriber Christmas cards to the mailbox. And I need to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Can she do it all today? Whew, it's cold. The snow stopped, so that was um, an excellent two minutes of being able to enjoy that. I don't feel like looking like a person yet, so I brushed my teeth and I took off my Hello Kitty pajama pants and I put on my fancy sweatpants, and we're gonna go do some adult things. Welcome to the Pickerington BMV. <laughs> Dropping off a couple subscriber Christmas cards. Don't forget to give me your address through Instagram or Snapchat or email or whatever. The information's down below if you guys want a Christmas card. Some are on the way. Safe journeys. Just ordered mom and dad's Christmas present online. I'm sure they're never gonna see this. I think the only videos they watch are the ones that like, I show them and they don't really, they're not like internet people. But I got them tickets to this event. It's an outdoor thing. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna take you guys with me too because I got myself a ticket as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is like package the tickets or some sort of representation of the tickets with like some hand warmers and maybe get mom some like fleece line leggings, something warm for dad. Uh, so after work, I think I'm gonna go to Walmart because I will only go to Walmart at night when hopefully no one is there. And look for some gifts for that. Anyway, I am perfectly comfortable going to Michael's in the daylight, so I am, I'm shopping for something very specific here. I'm not gonna say what or for who. Well, if I find it, I'm probably gonna show you, but I'm not gonna say for who, because they might watch this. There is a very, very specific kind of gross, awesome thing I've seen here before in the summer. I hope it's here again. If it's not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Back home from Michael's, I had lunch, obviously got dressed, put on makeup, getting ready to film one video. I don't know if I'm gonna do the other one today or not. I, I don't know, kinda on the fence about the idea. I need to hash some things out first, but I'm getting ready to film and um with the christmas tree situation so like the tree takes up a lot of room and we already live in like a small apartment that is just full of stuff we don't really have room for much else we moved like a shelf to put the tree here and then we had a set of chairs right here where you see the lights are so the chairs are upstairs like kind of hanging out in storage and whoa lighting and the lights are in this corner so i have this much room down here because we have like the monorail. I have like, basically I have, what I'm trying to tell you is I have like no room to get the lights out. So every time I get the studio lighting out, I'm just like, oh, please don't break everything. Would you look at the professional lighting? I am gonna show you guys real quick what I got from Michaels. I didn't find what I wanted to find, but I found like an okay substitute. So I got gifts for a couple people. What I was initially looking for was the, the poop slime kit. I saw it in the summer and you can make your own slime. It was like poop slime. Is this upside down? That's upside down. I couldn't find it and they had like this huge stack of slime stuff. And so I was sitting on the floor at Michael's like pulling out every box because there was no kind of rhyme or reason to it. Hoping to find the poop. I was looking for poop at Michael's. Didn't have it. Um, so what I did wind up getting are these lava slimy gloops. Those lava slimy gloop. 
and it comes with sand and a toy dinosaur. And then I picked up a couple ornaments for two of my favorite people in the world. Um, I've known them for a really long time. They've always come into the restaurant and that's how I know them. They started as regulars and now we're like family. I always come in for beer and pretzels on Friday and I found these little like beer and pretzel ornaments and I just, I thought of them immediately and I had to get them. So I'm gonna hop off of here, film the video, maybe two and get ready for work and I will see you later. The video I'm about to film is Christmas related and I just looked over and realized I have these beautiful backdrops that I worked so very hard on just right there. Why am I not using these? Why am I not filming in front of these? So I turned the potter tree on. We're gonna film in front of that. You guys are probably not gonna even hear a word I say. You're just gonna be looking at the potter stuff in the background. If that happens, that's fine too. Feeling like a YouTube beast right now. I got two videos done. One is already edited. So by the time this day is over, I will have three videos in the can, which feels amazing. I just spit pretty far out. Apologies. I hope that none of you guys think that this is like cheating to bank videos like this. I do work full time and I work a lot of 12 hour days. So it's just kind of impossible with my schedule for me to be able to honestly like put together and edit and make a decent video every single day so I do bank like this also we have so much cool stuff coming up so I just want to give you guys a breakdown of what is going on like the next week on Sunday Anna and I are going to Uptown Scrooge it's like a really cool version of a Christmas Carol in Westerville a lot of our Ren Fest friends are in it and they got us tickets and I'm so excited to see everybody just be the talented little beautiful butterflies that they are I'm going to a work Christmas party that night, one day I'm basically forcing Chad to take me to Franklin Park Conservatory. They just had a gingerbread contest and they have lights up there. I would like to see those. Tuesday, I think Anna and I are going to go to the zoo lights at the Columbus Zoo. Wednesday, I work a 12 hour shift, but afterwards, I think Brittany and I might do our Christmas vacation and beer tasting video. So that'll be a good time. Thursday is Star Wars and I work another 12 and that's just, those, that's what's that's what's coming up. Saturday's plans are kind of tentative right now, so I don't want to announce anything yet, but I have a couple pretty cool possible videos in the making, but we're doing a lot of stuff and we're going a lot of places, and so I just want to make sure I'm not struggling to do same day uploads on those days, because I want to make sure that the videos are good and I'm not rushing through them. Oh my God, you guys, I'm off work. I didn't go to Walmart because my car is freaking out on me. I've been having some issues with what I think is happening is the car thinks a door is open. So none of the doors are open and the trunk is closed and it's beeping at me like a door is open. But for some reason it would only happen when I would turn left. And so um, the car also has this weird like automatic locking mechanism on it. Today on the way to work it would not stop. So the car would lock and unlock and then it would ding and then the lights would come on. It did that all the way to work. And then I'm at work and I'm about to leave and like I'm not touching my keys, like nothing is, I didn't do anything, nobody did anything. And we look out and the headlights and the tail lights are flashing in the car and the interior lights are on. Nobody's touching anything, it's just doing it. And I just got home from work. I'm sitting outside the apartment right now it did it all the way. I mean, these lights never turned off and it was dinging all the way home. Is my car possessed? I don't know what's going on, but it's freaking me out and I don't like it and I want it to stop. So I didn't go anywhere else because I didn't want to run the risk of this maybe like killing the battery. I'm stuck somewhere because I don't know how to jump a car. I mean, Chad would come to my rescue obviously, but like what the heck is going on? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. My car is possessed, I don't know what to do about it. If you guys have had any kind of similar problem, this is a 2001 PT Cruiser that used to belong to my grandma and she never really drove it that much. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. It's gotten pretty cold outside, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But yeah, there is a ghost in the interior of this car <laughs> somewhere. Um, so I am off to do a bunch of Googling and see if anybody else is having the same problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. What a weird end to this video. This is not how I thought the rest of the day was gonna go, but here we are. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.